Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in a very chilly Manchester. I'm here for another worst rated hotel. Now this has had over a thousand terrible reviews on TripAdvisor and not saying such nice things. I'm here at Sashes to go and see if the reviews are as bad as they say they are. Let's go. Oh yeah, just check it in please. It's got a double without windows room staying for one night. Yeah. When you say it doesn't have windows, does that mean it's in the basement or something? No, no, in the centre of the hotel. I got a free upgrade. Oh, got a free upgrade? Yeah. Okay. So you got like, one double bed and one single bed. Okay. Is that still without no windows? Why was I upgraded then? Because I don't have a double without windows. Alright, that's kind of you. Are the ones without windows not very nice? <laughs> so how much is that? £55? This is a welcome letter for you. If you okay. check your wife for breakfast, breakfast hand up below. Alright, brilliant. Room is on third floor, double suite room for you. 358, thank you. Head to the lifts. It's like one of those wacky hall of mirrors. I look really fat in it, with really short, dumpy legs. Oh yeah. I was on the ground floor. <laughs> What's your room like? Terrific. Is it? It stinks. Really? Did you choose to stay or was it a company thing? A company thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shove you in the cheapest hotel. Awful. Wish me luck with my room then. Terrific. 358. <laughs> I think that's been drawn in pen to help it out a little bit. Well, that's not a good sign when a guest has already said their rooms are horrific. I mean, you only have to look straight away. There's rather interesting smear marks. So it should be up here. Once again, these corridors are freaking me out. Really spooky. Here we go. 358. Let's pop it in. Oh, that opened very easy. Got some oil on that door. Anyone home? Well, that other guy said his room smelt. This smells all right. Let's go and check it out. Well, straight away, it's fairly dark. There's no other lights, so I guess they're just the lamps. We have light. The first thing I've noticed, and this sounds really weird, but it's really warm in this room. Like, yikes, that is like super hot. And I thought to myself, yes, it's a very cold day, but why is the room so hot? And then as I go to the window, you'll see why. By the way, I've got no more light up this end. I'll have to use my torch on my phone in a minute. But as I pull back the neck curtains to check out uh, the lovely view I've got of a side street in Manchester, I realized that uh, there's a big gap here. This big plastic divider and the grim, even though it's dark, I don't know how well you can see it, but the grim looking windows. I mean, how old are these windows? Look. Yeah, they're these pivot ones, right, which don't shut properly and it's like minus, I think it's minus two outside and I can feel the icy draft really bad so obviously the windows are pretty old but like these in the winter are never going to be good but this only kind of comes to there and i've got to kind of just push it across and i might be able to get it across but if not well i'm just gonna have to close that and close the curtains which are again stained but i guess it's on the inside don't know if the camera picks that up but they are quite stained they stain on this side well, they are, look at that. Which is surprising because these curtains look fairly new, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to close these curtains. Well, there's some horrendous reviews on these rooms and I have been upgraded. He said to me that obviously they've got the availability, so he gave me a free upgrade. Now I know I get some comments from people saying they upgraded you because they know who you are. I don't think that's the case because the people next to me also have got an upgrade. There's obviously a problem with parking here. I had to park up the road, but I don't know where I'm gonna have to leave my car overnight. I get a little welcome letter to talk about the breakfast, which is from 7.30 to 9.30. I just wish people would do breakfast a little bit later so you can lie in. The breakfast tomorrow would be £9.95. I might do that. We'll see how it goes. No, it looks like they've got air conditioning. Does this work? 
I don't know if you can hear that, that's like the noisiest air conditioning unit ever. I think I'll turn that off for now. So turn that off. So let's do the bed test. Nice and comfy. Yeah, actually, very bouncy. Nice and comfy this. And what's nice is for the first time, it's not two beds pushed together. It's just one large one. All right, I was wrong. It is two beds pushed together. In fact, they're slightly off center, but it's not moving anywhere. Once again, a pretty old mattress and there isn't really much of a mattress protector on there. That kind of freaks me out. I've had some bad experiences in some hotels with uh, bed bugs. It always freaks me out. I know it's a weird thing to smell the pillows, but I do because sometimes they don't smell as fresh. It smells like someone's slept on it. I'm sure they haven't. I hope they haven't. I've got a phone which again does work, but I never know which number it is for a reception because it doesn't say Obviously, when we get room service. So when I sat in the middle, I didn't really feel the springs, but literally on this side, they are very uncomfortable. I can really feel those springs. Bit of a retro mattress. Again, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can really hear outside people coming out of that pub that's opposite. Because obviously the windows aren't double glazed. In fact, there's gaps in the windows. I'll be able to hear that all night. Don't know what was there, but there's an interesting screw. It kind of looks like the carpet is new. Let's turn the telly on, see if it works. So I'm lying in bed here. TV's all the way over there. Does it move? It does move. I can't really see the wall too much, but there are quite a few scuff marks on it, but this looks uh, pretty clean, bit odd. Almost looks like a, a workstation that's missing the chair. So I've got tea and coffee. Cups are clean, no problems there. Even some posh tea. What's the kettle like? It's not bad. All right, this is Nick picking now, but the, uh, the lampshade's bust. But generally, I can't really say anything bad about what I see. I'm always honest with the reviews I do. I was expecting worse. Yes, it is a slight upgrade. And yes, there are still bits of paint on the floor where they clearly have painted recently. I guess we'll see it a bit better in the morning, but there's some dirt marks on there and there's a random square patch there where maybe that was a picture. Random scuff marks on the roof. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'll have to look at it in the morning, but there's brown scuff marks on the roof. Why is that? And some scuff marks here. Our hairdryer is here, along with an attachment that looks like it's never been used. Now nah, look. See there's bits of paint on the floor. Let's go check out the bathroom. Wow. Almost looks like Del Boy's bathroom. What is that big hatch about? Is that for the air conditioning? I take it. Again, not very bright in here. The camera shows it a bit more brighter than usual. You can tell once upon a time they used to have a phone in the bathroom. So two vanity mirrors. The sink doesn't really go with the bathroom, does it? Very old style sink. Not completely on point, but they've folded the loo roll and I've got two of them. That's not plastic. It's not marble. Looks like it. No tissues. From the movie The Shining because the only major lights are just literally over the bath. This bath is definitely 90s, isn't it? Look at that. What on earth is that? I don't know what that is. But, you know, it looks reasonably clean. The shower head also looks pretty new. Even the taps here, they look new as well. Yeah, you can tell they're new because they've just been added onto the bath. This bathroom has definitely got 90s vibes on it. Bathroom floor, again, I don't know whether the camera picks it up, but it does look pretty dirty. If I was coming out of the shower, I wouldn't feel like my feet are gonna stay pretty clean. The only thing that worries me is I can't lock the door. That door looks it's pretty secure. I'm sure it will be. It freaks me out when I can't actually lock the door though. So I can hear when other people are running the shower, whether that's up above me or next door. But the room, to be honest, is actually not that bad. I feel like I'm nitpicking here a little bit. As you know in my reviews, I'm honest, if I can't see anything bad, you know, I won't fabricate it. Apart from a few scuff marks, yes, it's ridiculously hot, or I guess very cold. I'm gonna have to try and find uh, middle ground here. Let's go and check out the rest of the hotel.
can hear a dog so again you get lost in these hotels why is someone drawn on there this is like a maze you get lost it's the color of the the dark carpet and the grayness of the paintwork again people always say it's like the shining it is i feel like i'm going in a square though in fact it reminds me of uh, that new york hotel in the movie ghostbusters some steps down here this has definitely had new carpet i don't know what floor i'm currently on I take it these are the toilets for the the suites. The Roosevelt suite. Is it open? No. Is the Jefferson suite open? No. At least they've locked the doors. More rooms through here. Now you can see some of the old carpet down here. Look. Oh, this is where it doesn't smell as fresh. Corridors of just rooms and that's it. No paintings on the wall. You say it looks grand from the entrance, but as you walk around, obviously they've just done a paint job maybe. I'm completely and utterly lost now. Very nice chandelier, but doesn't look like it's been dusted ever. I don't know what it is with these hotels and people with dirty handprints. Again, why is there dirty handprints up there? So there is a swimming pool in here, and it's down there. Again. Look how dusty that is. It's like stepping back in time. It's one of those funky mirrors. It makes it feel bigger than it is, like you've got corridors going off corridors. Stuff of nightmares, to be honest. Wow. Okay, so this is uh, this is eerie down here. It's really quiet. There's nobody around. And by the way, that is not my camera doing that. Those lights are actually flashing, which I assume is the swimming pool. Oh my God, that's like a horror movie. There's no water in that pool though. Well, it was open to come down here. No one stopped me. Okay, so obviously this isn't being used at the minute then. I guess this is like a second, second bar area. Don't dare go down here. See how these doors are open? I don't know what's through that door and I'm not going to go through it. I think it goes outside, I don't know. That's where the fans are when it gets hot. What's all this through here? Is this a door? It's a fire exit for a restaurant. Maybe we'll have a look at that in a minute. Interesting decor. Oh, look at the floor. Where that chair's been moved around. So this is the gym, which obviously I I can't get in because it's closed, but again, okay, it's all flushing. This is freaking me out down here. Especially that. It's like a disco. What's through here? Can we go through here? Alright, so this is where the lifts come down, so anyone can go through there wow look at these lifts they are so old fire exit door just look how old that is is that marble yeah it is so that was jenny's restaurant jenny's bar the health club and the swimming pool where is the restaurant then it must be this way Wow, so that's the Washington suite. Looks pretty opulent. No one in there, though. So 
So this is the bar. All right. So that's all shut and locked. But it's only just gone eight o'clock, so I guess uh, this is my meal for tonight. Some crisps that are £1.20 and a chocolate bar for £1.20, followed by a nice cold drink for £1.50. What's that? Hope people put their chewing gum, obviously. Well, that is such a letdown. So there's no bar open, no restaurant, so pretty disappointing. I know there are a few people in here that are uh, staying for work, but I did uh, speak to a couple that are here on uh, for like an early weekend away. They're not going to be able to enjoy anything. Seriously, I don't know whether this hotel is haunted or not. It certainly gives me the creeps walking around here. Well, good morning, Manchester. This window has been keeping me pretty cold all night long. You can just see in the morning light just how grim this window is. So the room was quite cold, put the heater on and then it was too hot so I did find it difficult to get a balance of the warm and the cold. So I did go for breakfast even though I was on the late side and it was kind of only the dregs that were left so I decided not to go for it in the end but it looked kind of okay. You got the continental option and also a full English buffet at the same time. But for that price, I thought I'd give it a miss. So Sasha's Hotel Manchester, once again, you get a nice little postcard. The hotel on the whole, from the outside, looks, let's be honest, pretty awful. It looks outdated, it looks dirty. And if I turn up at this hotel during the daylight, I certainly wouldn't be looking forward to staying in here. However, when you walk through the doors like some of these other hotels, the grandeur from yesteryear still stands with the chandeliers and the mahogany wood and the marble. And then you obviously look a little bit closer and realize that chandelier probably hasn't been cleaned for god knows how long now obviously i was upgraded this was because of occupancy because it was quite quiet so they did give me a larger room because apparently um, when it is quite quiet if they can upgrade people from rooms without windows to rooms with kind of a view uh, they will do that the bed was a little bit lumpy to be honest the temperature i found a bit difficult to control in the room it was either too warm or too cold the fact that the windows are not double glazed i could hear a lot of noise outside for most of the night and also this morning i could hear the bins being collected but the carpet is clean Yes, there's a few scuffs on the wall. The kettle was fine. The bathroom was fine, even though it was a little bit outdated. The hotel in parts looked a little bit dirty, but again, it's had a paint job. It's had new carpet. And even though the swimming pool area and the gym was obviously closed, it was still open for people to go and, well, have a look around. So that's exactly what I did. If you want to see another worst rated hotel in Manchester, click the video here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.